This tutorial shows you how to create branching scenarios in iSpring Suite. You can either use a simple advance to the next slide structure to add a narrative feel to your course, or use branching in your courses to make them more challenging and memorable. To set up branching, click the Presentation Explorer button on the iSpring toolbar. Branching can be set for individual slides from the branching column, and for multiple slides by selecting them and clicking the branching button on the top bar. The first slide contains links, so I want users to navigate using those links but not the next button on the presentation player. So I can set forward branching to none. Slide 6 contains a quiz, so I can set on pass and on fail actions for this slide. If a user fails the quiz, he will be taken to slide 1, and if he passes, he can continue reading the course. Pass-fail branching can be set for dialog simulations as well. Let's click Save and Close to return to the course. To see branching in action, click the Preview button on the iSpring toolbar. I've just taken the quiz unsuccessfully, and now I'll click the Continue button. Now I'm taken back to the first slide to bone up on my knowledge before taking the quiz again. Branching scenarios can be as complex as you like, incorporating several different scenarios into one full-fledged course, and can be used to incorporate gamification into your e-learning. Did you like this video? Give it a like, and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.